Good day po sa lahat. Uh, welcome to our uh, online uh, service. Uh, this is a special service sa lahat po ng mga tatay po nandyan. Happy Father's Day po. Happy Father's po sa, in- sa inyong lahat po dyan. This is a special message po sa lahat po ng mga tatay. Maari ang iba sa inyo dyan ay uh, magiging tatay. Yung iba ay nagpaplano maging tatay. Uh, at least ito po ay uh, in preparation para po at least ay uh, maging handa po tayo. Even though na, naging tatay ka na for a long time, this will also be a, a message for you. Uh, I hope na ma, maging blessing po sa inyo yung ating pong, uh, pag-uusapan. Maybe at this time, uh, during the time na ako po ay, uh, yung, yung ta, yung ako po ay sa aking tatay, every generation po ay nagbabago. Uh, maybe at this time, kung, 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 kung kinalakihan ko po is eh, hindi na po relevant for uh, just this generation. Uh, lalo na po ngayon, tayo po ay pumapasok sa new normal. Hindi ko pa alam ang minsan yung new normal na yan. Ano po ba yung effect po na yan? Uh, one thing for sure, uh, this is a promise na ang Diyos po, ang ating pong Heavenly Father ay hindi po nagbabago. Siya po ay same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Kahit anuman generation po, ang Diyos pa rin po ay same Diyos na ating pong pinaniniwalaan. Pero tingnan po natin uh, sa ating pag-uusapan, what does God look for a father for this generation? Ano bang hinahanap ng Diyos na anong klaseng ama ang kanyang hinahanap sa ngayong henerasyon? He is looking for men to be the fathers like him. He needs a godly father. There is a verse here, In Proverbs 20:6 and 7, basahin ko lang po, Many a man proclaim his loving devotion, but who can find a trustworthy man? A righteous man walks with integrity. Blessed are his children after him. Napakaganda po ng, uh, mes- ng salita po ng Diyos. No? Uh, sa ating pong pag-aaralan ngayon, may mga lima lang pong puntos na ating pong, uh, ating pong pag-uusapan na kung saan we will learn from this. Ano ba yung uh, fathers in this generation na hinahanap po natin? Uh, unang-una po yan, a father is a protector. Pag sinabi pong uh, protector, eh, alam po natin sa ating mga anak, alam, hinahanap po natin kung saan sila pupunta, kung ano po ang kanilang uh, gagawin, uh, sa araw-araw na kanilang pong ginagawa. You know, as a father, we need to protect our children. Tama po ba? Uh, we should know always saan ba sila pupunta. Sino ba yung mga kasama nila? We should be concerned about, about that. Uh, lalo na po ngayon sa ating panahon, uh, ngayon po, eh, tayo po ay nasa quarantine, eh, most of our kids ay eh, nasa online po uh, sa ating pong social media. We should know ano ba yung kanila pong uh, uh, pinanunood, ano ba yung kanilang, uh, sino ba yung mga kinakausap nila. In this world, is a world of danger. Marami na po tayong nalalaman, naririnig ng mga pangyayari na kung saan may mga bata po na napapahamak. And as a father, we are a protector for them. We are a protector for them. Uh, sa atin po, we, we have to create a, uh, uh, yung boundaries po na kung saan na sila po ay magiging safe. Uh, isa pong bagay ay yung safety po nila. Yung safety po nila sa kanila pong ginagawa. As a father, uh, we have to be concerned about that. We need to be a protector. Uh, we must not be the source of a. Uh, we we should. Uh, we must not be the source of verbal or physical abuse. Minsan, yung tatay po. I mean, I, I've heard this in the news. Uh, the father is the one who's doing abuse of their children. Uh, verbal abuse. There's a verse here in Proverbs 15:1. A gentle answer deflects anger, but harsh words make temper flare. And sometimes. Uh, tingin ng, minsan ng mga, uh, ng mga anak natin na we are not, we don't feel protected because of us, the father. So sa atin po, we should be careful on that, on how our, uh, yung atin pong uh, galit minsan sa atin pong pagsasalita. Kaya this is a verse again in Ephesians 4.31 and 32. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, harsh word, and slander, as well as all type of evil behavior. Instead, be kind to each other, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as God through 
Christ has forgiven you. So remember, one of the fathers of this generation, we have to be a protector. Pangalawa po, a provider. Provider. Pag sinabi ko pong provider, sometimes po, ang iniisip na lang po natin is uh, pera. Hindi lang po pera. Alam ko, importante po yung, yung pera po sa pamilya. As a father, we should be a provider. Yung pangangailangan po nung sa, sa pamilya, yung pagkain, house, yung, yung kanila pong uh, pangangailangan uh, sa araw-araw. Uh, education is important also for them. Uh, we should pro provide for them. Uh, maraming mga bagay po na minsan mas higit pa sa, uh, sa finances na, that we can provide for our children. Uh, we can provide love for a family. As a father, we have to be a provider of love. Maramdaman po nila na nagmamahalan po tayo sa pamilya. Nararamdaman po ng ating uh, pamilya yung pagmamahal po nating ama sa kanila. We also be a provider for wisdom. Wisdom. Counsel. And stability. These are the things that sometimes we neglect as a father. Uh, ano, ba yung, at ano ba yung atmosphere na kinecreate po natin sa ating pong pamilya? Do we create, we should provide a harmony in the house sa ating pong tahanan. As a father, we have a resp responsibility to provide that, to be a provider of that. And sometimes yung, yung, ating, pong, uh, uh, at, yung ating pong safety at saka security, which is very important po, uh, ako po sa aming uh, bahay, eh, typical po ako dyan. Ay, uh, misa pinagtatawan naman po nila ako uh, dahil yung, yung pinto, eh, marami akong pamamaraan na uh, maging safe po yung aming uh, pamilya. Uh, dahil at that time, naalala ko, ang ginagawa ko pong uh, pangharang sa pinto is bote. So that I would know that my family is secure. You have to provide that. Things, I mean, in the harmony, sa atin po, sa, sa pamilya po natin, when, you, when I say harmony, ay eh, nag-uusap po, nagkakaroon kayo ng pag-uusap lagi. We as a father, we have a responsibility over that. And most of all, the father should understand sino ba ang source ng provision. Saan ba talaga nanggagaling yung source ng provision? We must soon know na saan ba ito nanggagaling? Sabi po dito sa Proverbs 3, 9 and 10. Honor the Lord with, wealth, with your wealth and with the best part of everything you produce. Then He will fill your barns with grains and your vats will overflow with good wine. As a father, we have to understand na ang lahat ng bagay po is nanggagaling sa Diyos. No matter what, sabihin natin, we cannot be proud. Uy, may lakas ako, lahat. May talento ako, may talino ako. Lahat po yan, nanggagaling sa Diyos. Wala po tayong pwede pagmalaki sa Diyos. Ang Diyos lamang, ang may alam, ang, ang meron ang lahat ng bagay na ito. So alam natin, we should ask God for all of this, that God will provide sa atin. And sometimes we, we have these material things, pero... Yung physical po natin, para pag ang, ang tatay po ay nagkasakit, it will be effect, malaking epekto po sa ating pamilya. We as a father, we should know saan ba ang source, ang ultimate source ng provision. Walang iba kundi sa ating Diyos. Sabi po dito sa 1 Timothy 5.8, But if anyone does not provide for his relatives, and especially for members of his household, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. Tayo po, mga ama, alam ko, sa atin po, uh, we, sa atin po, pagka uh, tayo po ay uh, sa ating trabaho, panagkasweldo tayo, and we, we budget those things. Alam natin kung ano yung mga pangangailangan po sa ating pamilya. Nakikita po ng ating asawa, nakikita po natin ng anak. Wow! Natutuwa sila. Di ba? Natutuwa sila pagkasweldo na. Na-excited sila. Naalala ko po, uh, er, natutuwa ako pagka Monday po sa bahay. Alam po ang Ulam po na it's pasarap dahil alam ko na may sweldo po yung aking tatay noon. So, nakikita ko po ang image po ng aking tatay that he provides for the family. He provides for the family. Sa atin po ngayon, father, at this time, this generation, that means we need to work hard. Tama ba ba? We need to work hard for our family. 
that they will see that we are the provider. Maybe you are right now because of this uh, issue sa ating pong sitwasyon ngayon uh, for this pandemic. You are struggling right now. You know what? I will encourage you, mga tatay. Why not go to God? Humingi ka ng Diyos. Lumapit ka sa Diyos. Humingi ka ng guidance from God that God will guide you. Kung ano man tuturo sa'yo ng Diyos na to find you a good a, a job, trabaho. Maybe you're, you don't have a job right now. Why don't you ask God? God will lead you for that direction. So that God will provide for your needs. And then you will provide the needs of your family. To be, sabi po na, the second one is to be a provider. Pangatlo po is a promoter. Pag sinabi ko pong uh, promoter, he promotes the success of his family. Ibig sabihin po, hindi po sa selfish. Hindi niya po sinitignan yun sa kanyang sarili. Yung kapakanan po ng kanyang pamilya sa atin po ngayon is uh, maraming marami pong times na nangyayari sa ating pamilya is uh, that that is this uh, nangyayari po that cause a problem in a family minsan yung pagiging selfish po uh, as other minsan ang na, na, nangyayari po diyan is the father start blaming the kids yung kanyang mga anak start blaming uh, the wife and that creates a conflict sa pamilya. Instead of promoting something na yung sa sarili po niya, huwag niya isipin yung sarili niya, but isipin niya yung kanyang kapakanan sa kanyang pamilya. There are things here, nasabi po dito, gusto ko pong uh, uh, mabasa po ito sa Ephesians 6.4. This is a, a reminder po sa ating pong mga tatay. Father, do not provoke your children to anger. By the way you treat them, rather bring them up with the discipline and instruction that comes from the Lord. So, ibig sabihin, if you're a promoter, we as a father, dapat, you should be an encourager. Encourager. Encourager po. And sometimes, minsan, eh, hindi tayo maiwasan, uh, pagka yung uh, mainitang ulo, you know what? Siguro, dapat kontrolin po natin yan. Okay, kontrolin po natin. And sometimes, we create, uh, lalong lumalala yung problema. You know what will happen at the end because of that, that problem? If things are not being done in control, ito po ay lumalala. And sometimes, that problem, tumanim po sa puso ng mga ng ating mga kasama sa, ta- sa ating tahanan, it is being passed on to the next generation. Tama po ba? Yun po ang, yun po ang nakakalungkot, no? Yung problema po, because of uh, yung pagiging yung selfish po natin, yung, 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 yung father, because, and then it creates a conflict, creates a problem, lumaki na lumalaki, lumala siya, that problem is being transferred to the next generation. I have seen that. I have seen that situation and how these things destroy the family. Hindi lang po yung pamilya, but it transfer pa sa susunod pa na generasyon. Which is so sad. As a father, we should be an encourager. Alam mo? I know it's hard, but we, we should realize ano yung magiging epekto nito sa ating pamilya. If we will be an encourager to them, they will be strong. We will have a strong family. Magtutulungan po yan. Kung hindi natin isipin natin ating sarili, but kapakanan po ng ating pamilya. Sumunod po, the father of this generation, we need a priest. Pag sinabi ko pong priest, he prays for his family, teaches them to love and honor God. Teaches them to love and honor God. Alam mo, isang bagay po, we have a responsibility to our family is to teach our family to pray. To come to God. Alam niyo po, uh, I, I, I have, uh, uh, in, in my life, nakita ko po yan uh, sa aming pamilya. Uh, do you pray when you, when, when you eat? 
Pagka kumakain po tayo sa bahay, do you have your quiet time? Do you have your devotions sa inyong pong uh, pamilya at the time? These are important. Sa mga ta na mga bata, that meron kang, ito ay pinahalagahan mo. Sa ating time, as a father, you have to have a time to pray for your family. Wala pong nakakaalam on how to pray for your wife and also your children. Ikaw lang po. You as a father, you know, alam mo kung ano dapat mong ipag-pray po sa kanila. You should spend time praying. There are things in the Bible po na ito po ay uh, in the life of Abraham. Si Abraham po, may anak na si, si Isaac at the time, uh, siya po yung uh, naging priest po sa kanilang tahanan. And uh, Isaac worshiped with his father. Kasama niya po, kumasamba. Uh, and when he became a man, the God of his father became his God. The God of his father became his God. And then, Isaac, and then Jacob came. Si Jacob po at the time, worship the God of his father. And then, nung lumaki na po si, uh, si Jacob, the God of his father became his God. And in the life of Noah, nung time po na si Noah, remember the story, yung sa the flood, and after po ng, uh, ng flood na yun, ginather po ni Noah yung kanyang pamilya, they built an altar and worship God. I grew up, I worship God together with my father. Now I'm a grown-up, now I'm a grown-up, the God of my father became my God. I hope na makita yan ng, ng anak mo. And I hope as they grow up, you as a father become priest of them. Ikaw. Makita ka nila. And they will follow, they will follow kung sino yung Diyos na tinatawag mo. Kung sino yung Diyos na nilalapitan mo. I remember, my mom told me about the story na I was asked by, by my father to God. Kasi po, uh, dalawa po ang aming uh, kapatid na babae. And my father prayed. Sabi niya, humingi siya ng lalaki. And nung ako po ay pinanganak, my father, ako po ay uh, inalay ng Diyos ng aking ama bilang pasasalamat. Actually, uh, sa amin po, mag- uh, sa amin po is, uh, my father would cut a, a piece of our hair and then iniipit niya po yan sa Bible. To be remembered para po maalala niya. And my father always pray for the family. He was a father right now. If you're listening right now, do you pray for your family? Do you pray for your children? Maybe right now you should consider that. Isip mo ngayon. Uh, habang sila tatulog. I remember yung aki pong uh, uh, yung aki pong anak when uh, she, has a, she has an accident na naipit po yung kanya niya pong uh, kamay sa pinto at that time. Siyempre, tayo mga tatay, pag narinig natin yan, uh, nag-aalala tayo. E naisip ko na nakita ko na talagang bali po yung kanya pong uh, yung dalawang finger. At that time, I pray for God na nalangin po ako, Panginoon, kayo po ang humawak sa doktor. Nahawak po sa kanya anak, sa aking anak. I praise God, dininig ng Diyos yung panalangin ko. Now, okay na po yung dalhin ng aking anak. You know your time. I experienced those times that I come to God and pray about these things. Meron pong verse po ito, Deuteronomy 6, 5-9. And you must love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your strength, and you must commit yourself wholeheartedly to these commands that I'm giving to you today. Repeat them again and again to your children. Talk about them when you are at home, when you are on the road, when you are going to bed, when you are getting up. Tie them to your hands and wear them on your forehead as a reminder. Write them on your doorstep and your house, and your gate. Maganda pong verse. We as a father, as a priest, we have a responsibility. We have a responsibility sa ating pong pamilya. That we should pray for them. 
tayo po ang maging guide po dyan that they will look at us. Ngayon po ay, uh, this is an online service. Why don't you bring your kids together to watch the service? Kung tayo po ay bumalik sa normal na, uh, pwede na pumunta sa church, maybe bring your children with you. Pupunta kayo sa simbahan kasama ang pamilya. You know what? That is a uh, very encouraging po sa mga anak. That they, they will see anong klaseng ama ka sa kanila. Na importante sa iyo na magkakasama kayo pamilya. Sumasamba at nanalalangin ng sabay-sabay. In our generation, you should be the priest. Sumunod po is, uh, in our generation, a great father is a prophet. A prophet. Pag sinabi ko pong a prophet, he defines their life purpose. Tayo po, sa ating pong mga anak, dapat ginagayad po natin sa kanila. Ano ba, anong, ano ba ang kanila pong uh, uh, destiny sa kanilang buhay? We try to help them sa kanila kung saan po papunta yung kanila pong uh, buhay. Tell them who they can become. Ano ba ang plano ng Diyos sa kanilang buhay? Do you, do you talk to them? Do you sit with them? Uh, do you ask question? Ano bang tingin mo? Ano bang purpose ng, ng buhay mo ngayon? Why, why do you have this? And sometimes we forget about that. Alam mo, minsan, uh, kung hindi nila naririnig sa ating mga, sa ating pong, sa ating pong mga ama, sometimes, they would just, they would listen to other people. They would listen sa kanila pong mga people na mga kaibigan na minsan, hindi tama ang sinasabi. Sometimes, they just use kung ano yung nababasa nila, ano yung naririnig nila sa so social media. And that will determine their des- des- destiny in life. Alam mo, minsan nakakatakot po yan. We as a father, we have a responsibility for that. To, to guide them. To guide them on that. Ano ba yung direction sa kanila? In spite na minsan sa ating mga anak, they fail. You know what? When they fail, kailangan tinutulungan natin sila to get up again and encourage them. Tulungan natin sila and tell them the life na merong hinandaan Diyos na maganda sa kanilang buhay. Sometimes they, they feel so discouraged in life. We as a father, we have to be there by their side. And we always tell them that, you know what, kasama mo ang Diyos sa buhay mo and your life will be great. Dahil yan ay pangako ng Diyos sa kanila. 1 Thessalonians 2:11 and 12 And you know that we treated each other of you as a father treats his own children. We pleaded with you, encouraged you, and urged you live your lives in a way that God would consider worthy. For He called you to share in His kingdom and go- glory. Ang plano ng Diyos sa buhay ng lahat, lalo sa ating pamilya, sa ating mga anak, is maging successful. We as a father, we have a responsibility of that. Sana po, eh, iniisip natin sila. Find time to talk to them. Just sit with them. Ask questions to them. Huwag natin pagalitan. And sometimes, natitreaten sila. Sometimes, just tell them, anak, ano ba ang, ano ba ang plano mo sa buhay? And then, that's the time that we, we lead them. Proverbs 22.6 Direct your children on the right path and when they are older, they will not leave it. That is a very true message. Ito po ay, ito po yan, kung ano, kung ano po yung lagi natin, kung ating tinutulungan sila sa tamang landas, hindi po nila makakalimutan yan. And sometimes we don't blame the, some of the kids right now. Uh, as we're ministering sa mga kabataan, majority of these kids majority of these kids, when we talk to them, kung bakit naging ganyan ang kanilang buhay, it all ends up in the family. The issue with the father and the issue with the, with the mother. It is so sad. And I hope 
sa atin po ngayon na nakikinig ngayon, try to, to think about this. Anak mo yan. You have a responsibility on your family. Sa atin po ngayon na nakikinig, in a, sa atin po pinag-uusapan, the father of his generation, we should be a protector, we should be a provider, we should be a promoter, we should be a priest, we should be a prophet. Maybe some of you, sabi nyo, ako, wala na po akong tatay eh. Uh, iniwan po kami ng tatay eh. There is a verse here na gusto ko pong uh, for you to be encouraged. It, it's Psalms 68, 5-6. Sabi po dito, a father, the Lord God is a father to the fatherless. Ang ating pong Diyos is a father to the fatherless. A defender of the widow. Yan po ay pangako eh. No? Yan, yan po ay binigay sa atin ng Diyos. Uh, if you don't have a father, kung meron kang anak ngayon, wala, wala kang ama, you know what? Uh, baka meron kang mga uncle. Baka meron kang grandfather. Or baka meron kang mga ate kuya sa church that can, they, can be there to help your kids. Encouraging. Napaka-importante po yung image ng father, no? Uh, I lost my father. Uh, sayang, di ko na po siya na uh, kasama, pero my father had done a great job raising us in our family. Kasi remember yung kanya pong uh, ginagawa. Things that he had done. Things that I have learned from him. My father has been a leader to our family. Maybe you, ngayon nakikinig ka ngayon. You need help. You need a help from God. Kailangan mo ang tulong ng Diyos. Siya po ang ultimate father natin. Siya po ang nakakaalam how you will be a godly father. Dapat doon natin sinusunod yung ating pong pattern. Maybe you ask that. First is, kailangan mo ng tulong. You have to admit that kailangan mo ng tulong. Secondly, he's the source of everything. Sa kanya po, nanggagaling po ang lahat. We should depend on God. Let's not depend on ourselves. We, we will fail. Limited po tayo. We should depend on God. How can you lead your family if your life is not being led by God? Give it a question. Maaring hindi, how can you lead your family as salimo hindi ka nililid ng Diyos? Maybe this, this message is a question for you. If you want to lead your family, then you have to ask God to lead you first. I-lead ka ng Panginoon. I-guide ka. Then you can lead your family. Ang bulag po na tao ay hindi niya pwedeng mag-lead ng ibang tao. Then hindi niya po nakikita dadaanan niya. If you are listening right now, you're a father. Nakita mo ang importance. If you want to be a protector, you want to be a provider, you want to be a promoter, you want to be a priest, you want to be a prophet. Maybe it's time for you now. Hindi pa huli ang lahat. Maka iniisip mo, ako, malalaki na mga anak ko. No, no, it, it's not too late. Okay, iniisip mo, ako, bata pa yung mga anak ko. No, no, no. This is the time for you to take action. You yourself, sa sarili mo, you're listening right now. Aminin mo, Panginoon, kailangan ko ng tulong. You need ask. Ask God. So, atin po na pag-uusapan ngayon, kung ito po'y nakatulong sa inyo, why not start to gawin ito? Take into action. Kung ikaw ngayon nakikinig, sabi mo, you need God in your life. Na, sinasabi mo na, ilid ka ng Diyos. Pwede mong gawin ngayon yan. Sabihin mo lang sa Diyos na aminin mo na makasalanan ka, aminin mo na mahina ka, aminin mo na kailangan mo siya sa buhay mo, God will hear your prayers. Nakikinig ang Diyos ngayon sa inyo. Tayo po yung manalangin. Aming Ama, kayo po ang aming ultimate na Father. You are our Father. Kayo po ang all-knowing Father. Alam niyo po 
Mahal niyo po ang pamilya, bawat pamilya, sa bawat tahanan. Ang layunin niyo po ang lahat ng pamilyang ito is maging matagumpay. Father God, there are some areas na we are, we are limited. Salamat po sa aming pong napag-usapan ngayon. This will help us, Lord, for our family na maging maayos. Wala naman po, mahirap po maging perfect na family. But Father God, we are striving for that. Tulungan niyo po kami, O Diyos. Sa aming pong mga makikinig ngayon, Panginoon, maybe in, the, in, in their life, meron po silang uh, problema for a long time. I pray, Father, you take control of everything. Gamitin niyo po yung mga ama na manguna po. Father, na sila po ay magpakumbaba at ma-realize sila ang kahalagahan ng pamilya. Give them the strength, Panginoon. Give them the strength. Give them the wisdom. Bless all the fathers who are listening right now that they will be a provider in their family. Kung may mga ama ngayon na walang trabaho, Panginoon, kayo po ang mag-direct sa kanila sa tamang lugar. You bless them so that they can bless also their family. Panginoon, we, we just depend on you sa lahat ng bagay. So, Panginoon, marami pong salamat sa pangapangako po ninyo, O Diyos. Maraming salamat, O Diyos. Sa amin po na pag-aralan ngayon, may this be magamit po namin sa amin pong buhay bilang mga ama ng tahanan. So, maraming salamat po, O Diyos, sa inyo po lamang lahat ibinabalik po namin ang pasasalamat sa pangalan ni Yesus. Amen. Amen.